We've been working with Sean here at Foxton Canal Museum to make a series of films called Through the Eyes Of. They're intended to address the barriers that some people may face when visiting cultural sites such as this and hopefully make people feel more comfortable visiting in the future. The reason we're making these films is because we know that people sometimes really face barriers and uncomfortable coming to museums. So we want to talk to those people, find out how we can make it better. We're going to meet Scott, who's a wheelchair user, and we're also going to meet Kylie and Marcus, who are two young people with Down syndrome. What do they think? Are there any barriers that they find when they visit a museum? Are there any challenges that are ahead of them to actually get the best out of a museum? Okay, my name is Scott Keating. I like Falston because I just find it nice and calming. It's also a brilliant piece of history for someone that's lived in Market Harbour and the surrounding areas. It is hard getting up the slope, but there is a disabled car park halfway up. So, and also it's still accessible. So if you don't make the trip up, you'll be missing out on a, a fabulous opportunity to learn about the history of Fox and Locks. I love coming to the museum. Uh, I just love history in, in general. So most of the stuff is practically at levels what are easy to reach if you're disabled, like myself. There is plenty of space to move a wheelchair about. There's nothing to obstruct you, nothing to get in your way. And if, if you are struggling, I'm sure there'll be a member of staff around to help you at any point. The level of the text is okay for me, but that doesn't mean to say it'd be the, okay for everybody. Um, the text itself could be maybe slightly bigger, because as a disabled, as being disabled, I sometimes find it hard to read. I find it hard, if there's a lot of text, I find it hard to keep my place. So I really struggle to sort of know where I am in text. So anything that may help me, so maybe it being shorter sentences rather than one big long scroll of text might be better for me and other people. As you go around the museum, there are some exhibits and other things that are a little bit less accessible to the disabled person, which means that you might struggle to see some of the exhibits or read some of the text. Some of the exhibits are interactive and it's also it's very nice to be able to interact with some of the exhibits. So there are two particular exhibits I did struggle to get to grips with. One of them I struggled to see over the top of and couldn't read the text properly because I struggled to see over the top. And also there is a tunnel that being disabled obviously means that you may be lower down. Um, so I struggled to see right inside the tunnel. Sean, who is a member of staff at the museum, has come up with a solution. It's not a perfect solution at the moment, but I would sort of call it a work in progress and it sort of, it's definitely helped me to see parts of the museum I missed the first time round. So hopefully it'll help you too. I really like the book. I love to find out and about reading about history. There are problems as well, people can't be impaired, can't see the words. That can be a problem. And, and if somebody can speak to you, so we can, uh, if somebody can read the book for them, it would be a good idea to help them with that. Like a recording? Recording, definitely. This is my favourite bit. It's a beautiful boat. It's a beautiful boat. So a lot of writing on, we can touch it. I love the boat because I've never been in an old boat before. You can touch, you can touch all of these things. And? How about you think, Kylie? And feel. And feel, feel this. And, it, and, and it's very difficult when you're inside a boat because uh, people who can't get into a boat, like people who are tall, and yeah, boats are you bang your head as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, that was difficult. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
I like, I like the museum because it's big and the people can go round it. Historical. It's very history thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant that the museum are listening to what we've got to say and what our clients have got to say uh, with a view to making it more accessible and it would certainly be somewhere that um, we would like to bring clients because it's, it's so local and, and so interesting. As an example of some of the points that have been highlighted, here's a display cabinet. It's got lots of items in it, some at low level, some at higher level. And as has been pointed out, if you've got an object at a higher level, and it speaks for itself, and you can look at it and say, I know what that is, and oh yeah, I'm interested in that, that's great. But if you put an object on a higher level that needs some explanation, if you're a wheelchair user or a young child, you can't really get the best benefit out of that. So how we do this in future is gonna be very important to us to make sure that more people can get more out of what we're displaying. An object that speaks for itself, we can put at the top but something that needs an explanation, put it a little bit lower down. Simple things like that, and it's a solution that stares us in the face, but sometimes we miss those. And our thanks to all our guests, they've picked it up, and that's what we hope would happen. Being disabled, you don't always get listened to, which is a travesty in this day and age, but it's still sometimes very true. You don't always get listened to, and also, most places like museums and are not uh, very accessible in general but they are working hard to fix these problems and for me to be able to help um, with these problems and to fix these problems it means a lot to me because it means that other people with a disability that might not have a voice I have the voice for those people with disability so it's also nice to be able to help out as much as I can. We're really learning from their experiences and being able to just talk one-on-one -on -one individually with the people has really helped us and hopefully it makes some real important change. This has been an amazing project to work on and we've really loved working with Sean and the museum because they're really so keen to make real impactful change. Thank you.